Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and welcome back to my series called The Business of Music. My goal for this series is to help other artists like myself make and save as much money as possible. I know that it's hard out there being a musician, and a lot of musicians are just creatives where they don't have as much of the business aspect, and I'm grateful that I have a little bit of both, so I wanna help you guys and, and, and get you guys a little bit farther in your career. That being said, today's conversation is about having the awkward conversation, having something that can be a little difficult but it's very important and that's called contracts you may be saying oh I'm just a small artist I only have a couple thousand streams or a couple hundred streams or maybe 10,000 streams you know on, on out there but I, I'm not making a lot of money I can't pay other people stuff I want you to think long term I want you to think where do you want to be in five years where do you want the song to be in five years or in ten years where do you expect your career to be that being said it's important to put contracts out in this place right now one, because you'll be in a good negotiating place, you know, you could, you could set a smaller thing because you don't have a lot of to offer. Also, if you if you want that song, you think you, that song's gonna have a million streams in five years, then you better get that in place now rather than in five years, you know, if you have a featured artist on it or something like that. Because when that's at a million, it's gonna be a lot harder to negotiate and they're gonna be like, I want, I want more because it has a million streams. And, you know, if you wanna keep as much money in your pocket, you also want to be generous. You also want to do the right thing by people, but it's going to be a lot harder of a conversation if you don't do it early. Things to consider are, are who did the majority of the work. So for example, if you're featuring somebody on a song, right? This is your song. You, For example, myself, I do a lot of music where I produce the whole song, write all the music, write the chorus, and maybe even write a verse. And now I'm just featuring somebody on, on, on like the second verse. Well, you have to consider maybe I did 85% of that and they did, you know, 15% work that out. You know, figure out who, who, how much they did in that song. If you're being featured on a song, get it in writing. Have it's important also to have them sign the contract. Uh, I've I've definitely seen a lot of people do like write a contract up, show it to the artist, and and then they don't nobody gets it signed. Get it signed. That's important. If you have no clue how to write a contract, something to consider is and something that I've done myself. You know, I've recorded a bunch of artists, and and when I before I even set set it up with them, I have this contract. I say, look, this is what I need. I need you to sign this if you're interested in working with me. And it has different, all these different things, you know, blah, 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 whatever I see fit. But I, the, the way I got those ideas, I didn't know what to put in a contract. I Googled it. I Googled, you know, recording contracts or music, musician contracts, and I got a template and then fit it to my needs, changed some of the dates, changed some of the numbers, changed some of those things, took out things that I thought were a little ridiculous, added things that I thought were important. You know, so find and create your own little contract that you think is gonna work for you. In the negotiating of contracts, I think it's important to, to, to decide how bad you wanna work with this person, if the person's higher than you, lower than you know, in career-wise. Like, find out how bad, you, think about how bad you wanna work with them. You know, is it is are you willing to take less money because you, you think that they're, they have a lot of notoriety, or are you willing to pay a little more money because you think they have a little more notoriety? These are things to definitely consider. But most importantly, if anybody's not, if anybody in this contract is not happy, it's not worth it. Especially yourself. If you're not happy with the contract, it's gonna bite you in the butt in the end. Do not get into any contract you're not happy about, or do not, if they're not happy, try to find some medium where you, you can both be happy because it's just not gonna be worth it, the headache in the end if you're not both happy. One last tip, tip I actually wanna put, put out there is, is have levels in it. You know, for example, like, yeah, some of my songs did pretty decent online, but some of them only have a couple hundred streams or a couple thousand streams. So I, it's not really worth me paying the artist, you know, the featured artist, 87 cents, you know what I mean? So like, what I might do is say, okay, you'll, I'll start paying you this amount, whatever, 15%, 10%, 20%, depending on the song, depending on the artist, depending on the level, depending on the relationship, and say, when it hits 10,000 streams, and then every 10,000 or when it hits 50,000 streams, then you will start, you will get one lump sum paycheck for everything down. And then every 10,000 streams, you will get another pay. You know what I mean? 10,000 streams. I'm only going to make what? It's a million streams is, is third, uh, 3,000, 100,000 streams would be 300, 10,000 streams would be 30. Yeah. So you make about 30 bucks. So if that you're making a total of $30 and then make 15% of that, that's only four dollars and fifty cents that they're getting every ten thousand streams. Is it worth writing a check every time that make you you know, maybe not. So maybe say every fifty every fifty streams and they may get maybe twenty five dollar check. That may be a little so work it out. Work figure out the levels. Find something that you're both happy with. All right, so that's a little bit about contracts. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I hope you guys are enjoying getting something out of it and also learning some things. And 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 I just want you guys to have the best opportunities possible. I've definitely made my share of mistakes, and I want to help relay those so you guys don't have to make those same mistakes. If you do want to check out my music, it's Jacob Restituto wherever you listen. You could also text me one eight three three five seven five zero nine four eight. Have a great Restituto day and peace out.